up guys thanks for tuning in for uh, this week's Tesla commute vlog um, big update this week about a long trip in the Tesla and some unfortunate happenings that occurred uh, which was rather disappointing so um, yeah, last week I mentioned that we were going to take a trip to California in this thing. Uh, it's the first time that we're actually going on a longer trip with this car. Uh, I've owned it for two years and we've never really gone anywhere over 50-60 miles with it. Um, so that was a, a, something that we wanted to do this time to quote-unquote save the gas money and also, the other car has really bad tires, didn't want to put new tires on it right this minute, so we were going to go with the Tesla, and we did. Uh, so we made it to California, no problems, no issues. Uh, we did cut it real close, getting to one of the superchargers where I had like 19 miles left on the battery, and we were like, okay, yeah, no problem, we, we made it there, plugged it in. Uh, grabbed a bite to eat at a restaurant there, hung out for about an hour and uh, got back in and went to the next stop or next destination. Um, so everything was good, but coming home, oh boy, coming home. So we stopped in uh, this place called Indio in California. Most of you probably know where it's at. Um, Indio, there's a supercharger there and we stopped there and had some dinner. This was pretty late in the evening, like five, six-ish. and. Um, had something to eat, plugged the car in. After eating, looked down at my phone, saw oh, 171 left on, or uh, 171 range on the car, and looked at the directions to the next supercharger, which are in a place called Quartzite. It's like, oh, that's only 111 miles away. We got 170 on the battery. Should be fine, it shouldn't be an issue. So we hit the road. Well, lo and behold, that was not enough. Uh, partly because there was quite a bit of uphill coming out of Indio, and I, I burned quite a bit of energy coming uphill, coming out of Indio, and that was not something that I really accounted for. Although, at 170 to drive 110, I, I thought uh, it should have been okay. Well, we got to 0.3 miles away from the Quartzite supercharger and the car died. Now, here's the annoying thing that really bothers me. And I have yet to call Tesla about it. It's only been a couple days. But I will call them and complain about this and, and ask whether or not uh, they can pull the logs on the car and see if something just happened. But the car said I had 15 miles of range. I was 0.3 miles away from the charger and it just died. I mean, it completely died. Um, I was off on the side of the road, basically on the ramp to get off the highway for the supercharger. Cop comes behind us, issues me a citation, a ticket because I'm blocking traffic, blocking the highway. Um, it was just all sorts of unfortunate uh, circumstances and, un and I'm really not happy about it. I mean, you know, most cars, gas cars, you get to a point where your tank says empty and you still got 20, 30, maybe 40 miles to go depending on the manufacturer, depending on the car. Pretty much everybody knows this. Well, apparently Tesla thinks or thought they should do that backwards where it says you have 15 miles and the car just dies. That is not cool at all, uh, not acceptable. Something I'm thinking something is either wrong with the car or if that's really the way they do it, that's messed up. Um, so not happy about that at all. In order to tow the car at this point, because it was completely dead, I'm talking touch screen was dead, everything was dead. The car had to literally just be dragged onto a tow truck, um, which of 
course risks damaging your main drive unit uh, of course that risks creating a bald spot on your tires and it's just not fun watching your car be dragged up onto a tow truck so it was dragged up on the tow truck dropped off 0.3 miles away at the supercharger that took about an hour to figure out a way to you know take the car off the tow truck when it's not able to be rolled because you can't put it in neutral because the computer's dead so got it off the truck then remove the nose cone in order to jump start the electrical system on the car so you can open the charge port so you can plug the charger in it was just a nightmare uh, not something that I want to do again I will not drive this car to California again not with that kind of risk um, the tow truck costs 160 bucks uh, the ticket I don't even know how much it's gonna cost stopping to charge the car every time means grabbing a bike grabbing a drink grabbing something so there's no gas savings money to be had or seen anywhere I mean none literally none I think Tesla still has quite a ways to go as far as the supercharging network goes and as far as uh, speed I mean I was thinking it was gonna be quicker but it was taking an hour to an hour and 20 minutes to get up to to 170 and that wasn't even a full charge on this car a full charge on this one's about 195 uh, which right now it's not ever charging to 195 anymore so that's another story I thought it was fixed uh, when I called them and they did some background info or checks on the car um, apparently not the car stops charging at 175 like every day now so that's another reason I gotta call them I don't know if the car is just showing its age now because it's a 2013 and it's got a lot of miles on it or if there's something wrong that can be repaired whatever the case is I'll, uh, I'll contact Tesla soon very soon see if there's something that can be done it is still under warranty and I'm hoping they can get uh, fixed to a certain extent I mean I understand I'll never be able probably to see the 203 mile range on this car anymore like I did when I first purchased it because again lots of miles a um, lot of lot of charge cycles probably degraded the battery a little bit but I'm, I'm hoping it'll charge past 175. That just seems like a really big hit to battery life over the course of a few years. So we'll see how that goes. But again, very disappointed with the road tripping aspect uh, of this Tesla. I don't know if other people have better luck. They probably do. Uh, I suppose if you get the bigger battery and you have longer range, and you charge to a higher level, you would be okay. Personally for us, if we would have stayed another 20 minutes in Indio and got another 20 or 30 miles on the battery, well not 30, we couldn't have gotten 30, but if we would have charged up to say 185 or 190, we would have probably made it to Quartzsite without issues. But I charged to 171 thinking that was more than enough to drive 110 miles, and it apparently wasn't, so. Uh, unfortunately this time Tesla has not uh, has not proven itself to be uh, roadworthy for a long trip it's a fantastic commute car I'll continue driving it to work every day no problem um, hoping to get this charge issue resolved with them because like right now I'm at 87 and I still got a good 30 miles to drive home so that means my battery is going to be pretty low when I get home this evening um, I always like to have a little bit more headroom just in case we go somewhere in the afternoon or something so I'd like to be able to charge to 185 190 on a nightly basis hopefully that can get fixed um, I'll keep you guys updated uh, as things progress and as I find out what's going on as always, thanks for watching. Uh, if you're interested, if you have comments, feel free to share. If you have a frustration a story with your Tesla, feel free to comment, link your video, whatever. 
um, and let's uh, let's see if they can resolve some of these issues. Uh, again, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and uh, we'll see you next week. Thanks. Bye.